The Advisory Committee on Naming was established by President Hatch to help us think about who we recognize and how we recognize people on the campus. And soon we realized that it's largely about a narrative. And so when we think about the narrative we tell about Wake Forest, it's really written into the places of honor, the names on buildings, the names on roadways. Names symbolize the principles, aspirations, and deep beliefs and values of a community. Language can impact who gets to be in the conversation, who is remembered and how, who we value and why. The naming committee came together to think comprehensively about who we are and how we tell our story. There's never a need to re-examine a history or a naming unless one wishes to be part of a fuller story, to be part of a more honest story, and ultimately a more hopeful one. It's always incumbent upon a responsible community as a living organism to make sure that its values are inscribed in the environment in which one lives. You have to use the lens of today and recognize what does pro humanitate mean? What do we as Wake Foresters stand for? and want to show forth to the world what we want to be known for. It's a difficult task, but I think it's an important one. It is only as we have come to realize and struggle for the betterment of ourselves and the betterment of humanity that we've been able to really embrace and expand the idea of pro-humanitate. That's the greatest opportunity we have is to say we honor history by growing. We honor history by not pretending it's something else, but by letting it be what it is. Whether it's discomfort or joy or pride that comes as a result of that, if we have the gift of being able to engage our, our heritage and our narrative as a community, then we deserve to experience it as genuinely and as authentically and as accountably as possible. It will go a long way, I think, in history for Wake Forest University to see that the university took so much care and so much personal responsibility and accountability not to just get past history, but to look at it, internalize it, and let students understand why we did this.